Uh, can't believe rap is back so much better than that mumble crap. Yeah. Let's address the elephant in the room, okay? <laughs> What's up, CDTV? Uh, look, there's no reason to be covering this. In fact, me covering this, I know, is bad because I'm just giving it exposure. But I have this morbid curiosity. It's almost like a sickness where I need to listen to it even though I know it's going to be the worst album of the year. Maybe it's because I know it's going to be the worst album of the year that I need to check this out. I've heard the singles. They're not very good. In fact, I'd say that they're pretty bad. In fact, I'd say that they're pretty horrible. I've listened to the first album, The Brave. It was not very good. So why am I doing this again? I don't know. I don't know what's wrong with me, but I need to. Maybe it's because sitting through the Brave is a very difficult challenge, and I find it to be... I don't know. I don't really have any... any um, there's, a, there's a new album cover for it. I didn't even see it. Uh, looks better than uh, the first album cover, the one behind me. I'll just say that. You know, so that's the first positive of this album, alright? As you can see, I have none of the singles hearted. There's a reason for that. Yeah, Social Repos is a feature on this album. That social repose. Yes, that social repose is a feature on this album. Um, the track list, sure. American flags made in China. Rattlesnakes, where he's probably like, what, shooting the snakes out of the grass? You know? Your America. Chrome. Freedom of speech. White devil. Okay, rubber boots. Gangster rap raised us. Uh, black and white with Dax. I heard that one. Uh, say it to my face. This is probably just going to be another... Look, I already... It's it's just... There's such an obvious formula to what Tom McDonald does. It's just not even like... Zero L's, Fame, My Way, and Final Song is called Race War. Okay? Now, you guys know me. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Huge Tom McDonald fan. All right. Uh, gangsta with the hard R, yeah? Oh, man. So, yeah, we're listening with chat today. I figure... Why the hell not? First song, American Flags. Okay? American Flags. This was the first single. Huge single. Did like 10 million on YouTube, okay? And with that being said, here we go. Let's just... Let's just do this. Yeah. Tensions is definitely rising. My people of this country and we're under attack. They banning us, they cancel us for speaking the facts. If you man enough, come stand with us, take USA back. And every time we pull up, all you're gonna see is American flag. American flag. Ain't nobody gonna tell me. Oh god, there's so much all right, so Okay. <laughs> so Tom McDonald, a self proclaimed centrist. <laughs> what is it, virtue signaling here? Amazing. Must be mentioned, of course, he is Canadian, blah blah blah. He's Canadian. All right, I watched a video when this song came out. It was uh, Veterans React to American Flags by Tom McDonald, and it basically went exactly like how you expected it to. Um, <laughs> <sighs> the vet Yeah, Veterans React. I, I watched it with CDTV. Certainly a video. Of course, private session. Who do you think I am, okay? Come on, guys, I might hold right-wing views and appeal to everyone on that side of politics, but I'm a centrist. I don't think that Tom McDonald believes a single word he says. I think that he's too busy sitting on millions of dollars from suckers to really give a shit about anyone. In fact, I'd believe, I'd, I'd believe that Tom McDonald doesn't have any stance before I'd believe that he does. So, the centrist thing makes sense. Because he's at the center of all the money that's funneling in. Their virtue signaling. Their virtue is that they're racist. Yeah, something like that. 
How much for you to turn off private session? What difference does it make? Really? I'll put the price tag at uh, $200. See, I'm just like Tom McDonald, though. You know what I mean? Me and him, we have a lot in common. My entire existence runs on just cheap money from people who think that what I'm doing is profound. If you don't, they gon' go wacko. Automatic gun smoke like tobacco. Never hit a lady, but it's pretty hard to tell if you're a girl or a they them. There's these that I ain't never gonna take it. So, yeah, that's the first transphobic remark of this album. Uh, one minute in, all right? So, anyone who's ta keeping score at home, you know, there you go. It's literally... Bro, Screegle sends in $100 trying to get me a turn off private session. Oh, wait, hold on. I'm forgetting something. It's so important that I need a second and I need to play you guys a song. Some nights I wish that my lips could build a castle. <laughs> what do you guys think? United we stand. That's one of the keywords I feel like Tom McDonald said in this song already. I'm not sure. Oh, pop champagne. Ricky Flags. Ricky Ricky <laughs> Such an ass verse. <laughs> Him is like I do construction. I'm flying in a vehicle. Such a bad flow, though. I'm sorry, but it's that, like, angry but not really flow that's very obvious. I gotta grab the smaller weapon. Alright? YouTube doesn't want me to have the big guns. Alright? In fact, this weapon still might be too big. I don't know. This'll do for now. It's the best Tom McDonald song. I don't really, I don't know. It's hard to really pull any quality out of any Tom McDonald song. It's kind of like, uh, man, I use this. I got to think of a different metaphor than the, the, the thimble of piss in the punch bowl. Cause it's more like, um, <laughs> a thimble of punch in the piss bowl when there's anything of value in a Tom McDonald song, you know? Uh, it's bad, but I have a feeling it only gets worse from oh. here. Even though it just sounds like passionless pandering crap. Like choosing the best cancer to be diagnosed with. <laughs> there you go. Alright, here's the first original song. Yakadas. We're still getting the lyrics for this one. DJ Khaled! All these rappers fake, motherfucking liars! This immediately just sounds literally exactly like the previous song, but a little bit slower. Okay, so the fact, see, it's the same thing. It's it's all a formula. I'm telling you, the Brave had songs that sounded like or seemed like they would be about something political because like, oh, it's called Made in China, right? But it's just an excuse for... Tom McDonald to do his really lazy, half-written flexing crap. And then it's just like I'm made in China. Like, oh, he did it. He really called out the, the Chinese for taking all our jobs, you know? Anyone can get it, the Eminem of my generation, but I ain't a liberal. Fuck no. Nah. And you know my... <laughs> middle fingers are stiffer than metal pillars that dip them in rivers in the winter, so they stick in position. And I quit liquor and bitches, now I'm addicted to winning. Little white kid. So much of his early music I thought was like about drugs and shit. Am I crazy? Or is he just like, is this another virtue signaling to the dads? 
Probably. These rappers fake, motherfucking liars! Yeah, I mean, let's do a recap on this song real quick, okay? All these rappers fake, I'm really the rich one, okay? I'm like the Eminem, except for I'm not liberal of this generation, you know? Oh, and then like a bunch of filler bars on top of it. I ain't going fishing when I'm asking where the pole's at. Hold that. Oh. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's an Adam Calhoun thing. I ain't going fishing when I ask you where the pole's at. This closet has more than hangers. I got drive like a car. This dude's, like, arsenal of similes and metaphors is quite literally out of, like, a children's nursery rhyme book. Kill most rappers, get a toe tag. Better send a shot faster than you say boat's ass. Don't pass, rapper, you know. Boat's ass? Kill a rapper faster than you say boat's ass? Also, this flow is horrible. Shit go hard, middle finger stuck in the air, broke arm. Brad is a 57 year old father of two. Wow, thanks. As a 57 year old father of two, when my kiddos listen to this type of gangster rap, I disapprove. Thank the Lord, Tom McDonald and Adam Calhoun. See, here's the thing I know it's a joke, but like literally raised on gangster rap, you know? I mean, when you talk about the shade of my skin, because we the hardest rappers ever came after Slim. All these, these people are so upset. It's like they're white and they know they know they know that the only people listening to this music are people who've only listened to Eminem. That is it. Damn man, I look good, man. I like working out. Hmm. Before you ask me what do I lift? This ain't from lifting. This from steady, consistent full body workouts. All right, at a very workable pace for my physical condition, which is scoliosis and uh, what is it, uh, Ellers Danlos. Okay, so all right. It's ma Yo, it's the- it's this guy, Mad Child, with the fucking terrible baby voice on the last album. He was like, I get- what is it? I get all the fire emojis, all you get is eggplants. That was this guy's entire existence on the last album. Have a mental side to genocide, you're messing with the suicide. And no amount of money gonna make me be a dummy, acting funny just to show people not innovative. I'm a little bit of a hinderbit and a hinderbit and a hinderbit of 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 a he definitely ain't made in America, though, all right? I'm just saying. Oh. Ugh, man. Anyways, yeah. Soul Stealer, trust me. I think it's gonna get worse. I think we gotta save the Soul Stealing, all right? For real special occasions. Okay, so this song's called Rattlesnakes. I'm, does anyone want to take me up on a bet? I'll tell you what. If this song isn't exactly what I think it's about, I'll turn off private session. Rattlesnakes is exactly about snakes in the grass. People who are snakes. And they are going to mow down the rattlesnakes with the lawn mowers. Okay? If I'm wrong, I'll turn off private session. Call it how I see it, that whole fucking squad is fake. Cut the grass, that's a lot of snakes. Give bits Pay the fuck up! It took 20 seconds! That's what I'm saying! That's how fucking predictable this garbage is, dude! 20 seconds! I'm telling you! It's always the same shit! These guys are like, you can read them like books after listening to one album. It's, it's all the same. That's what I'm saying, dude. I ain't never ever gonna be one of the fake ones. Claiming diamonds with a chain brush. Swear to God that it's bloody sweat when it's fake blood. Never changed up when I came up. Can I raise the place that I came from? Now that I'm famous. I'm the same one who gang day once. I take real hate over fake love. These motherfuckers don't fake shit. These motherfuckers is basic. These motherfuckers don't race with. These motherfuckers want cups. They ain't got nothing to chase it. These motherfuckers can't take it. These motherfuckers go ancient. Everybody wanna be the everybody. Everybody wanna be the everybody. Everybody. Everybody wanna be the everybody. I don't want no rapper friends. Call it how I see it. That whole fucking squad is fake. 
flow isn't bad, bro. It's like I'm sorry, but like everything about this, if you have like done any rap recreationally for more than like an hour, you could come to this very easily. If someone put the most basic lyrics in front of you, you would start reading them and it would just work. Here. I'm willing to put my uh what is it? Put my put my money where my mouth is. <clears throat> I forgot what the flow was, so I'll just... These motherfuckers are fake shit. These motherfuckers is basic. These motherfuckers gonna rage quit. These motherfuckers wanna clout chase because they ain't got none, so they chase it. These motherfuckers can't take shit. My motherfuckers go ape shit. These motherfuckers is hating. My motherfuckers like safes in basements. Are to crack with great foundations. I don't want no rapper friends. Wanna be gangsta fashion trans. Xanic addicts too dramatic. Automatic. Fuck all them. It's like... Why is he... It, it takes like two seconds to pick up on. Now, if I practice that two more times, it would be like, zoom. But like when you see it on paper, it's whatever. Why am I even bothering? Y'all are fake. I'm real. Just insecure about cribbing my whole personality from black culture. No, it's not stealing from black culture. It's basically trailer trash culture, I feel like, is more like it. How I see it the whole fucking squad is fake. Yo! Oh my god, he did the pitch down thing. Yo, now you know shit's getting real, dude. My fabric's stitching far from average, plus my music's classic rappers out of focus. Aberration, you just chasing patterns. Hoping pray for recognition, can't climb up a broken ladder. Why you talking reckless? Like you pitch yourself, can't hold your bladder. This shit hit different. Wow. I go psycho like I'm Michael Myers. I ain't getting bitten by no snakes. I got some lions. Like this shit look like a fucking suit. Who the fuck is you? If I lose it all today, go right back to work with the two. Yeah, yeah. Fuck Medusa, you gon' need a pair of goonies, pistols, rifles, pipes, and dudes that make it jump like parachuters. This entire verse is about killing snakes. Like, that's it. Listen close, it's a rattlesnake. Rattlesnakes. I mean, did I not call it from the very beginning? It offered literally nothing. <laughs> and you could tell exactly what the song was before it even was uh, birthed into existence. Give it a red headphones. Dog. Ugh. All right. Your America. First line I see... And LGBTQ turned into WTF, Dear Democrats. So, this is one of the singles that's put out that's like bait for you to buy the album if you believe the words he's saying here. This is all part of the part of the plan, if you will. Uh, you know. So this is this is another virtue signal track. You could tell because it was, you know, one of the singles, probably. <laughs> oh man it's gonna go guitar beat into trap into emotional tom mcdonald verse they're screaming that they hate america <laughs> and we're the reason if you don't feel safe and stop the funding the policemen you calling us extremists because our words have hurt your feelings and we're sorry we can't hear you over the sound of our freedom <laughs> Oh, man. Song of the year contender. Yeah, like clockwork. I'm telling you, man. <sighs> I'm going to order some food. Yeah, much like we do construction. Yeah, much like we do construction. Bam and damn and bam and bam. Oh, my God. Popeyes has three stars out of 2,000 ratings. I am not ordering from there. What the fuck? Hammers like I do construction. Ammo like I'm in the function. Hammers up and in the... Function. Hammer dip it, dim -a -dim -a. It's 3 a.m. in the morning. Filling up our classrooms with drag queens for kids. Here we go. Talking point number who cares? What is this? Is this count as like another tick on the LGBTQ bullshit thing? I think so. I don't know. Is that count as trans hate? Let's let's count it. Let's count that. So that's two. Was there one before this? I don't know. You think it's not appropriate, you tell us that it is. The complexities of gender and children won't ever mix when there's school shootings by women whose pronouns are him, his. Oh. <laughs> oh man, this is bad, dude. Oh my fucking brain, dude. I can't. <laughs> Bro is off the deep end again. Yeah. 
Not Republican, but keep it a hundred. They making sense. The most destructive ideologies are coming from the left. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, it's like. Like, how does anyone take anything this guy says seriously? Like, forget all the ideology bullshit. Let's just talk about consistent characterization. This dude has none. There is not a moment of what he's saying that feels like I'm listening to a human being and what they truly believe with, like, a firm stance in any sort of regard. It feels like they are always just trying to ride the line so that they can piss off as many people as possible while virtue signaling to the most extreme people who are giving them money. Why am I reacting to this? That's a good question. I don't know. I think black lives matter. They think white lives matter less. And LG Uh, we're, we're not gonna make it through this song, are we? Matter, they think white lives matter less And LGBTQ turned into WTF Dear Democrats, I don't have nothing against the liberal But the people representing you are communists and criminals They've been starting World War Three with shipping missiles still They don't want America great, they want it miserable You can try to find- Oh god, here comes the hook Uh, I've lost count Brad, uh, notice how he doesn't acknowledge once for Black Lives Matter, or for what? No, it comes off to me like him quite literally saying, um, Black Lives Matter, but you guys clearly hate white people and are trying to erase us. And you hate us, and you want to see us fall. Which is... I mean, that is certainly a net to cast. Top of your lungs till you're dizzy. You can cancel everything and everybody in it. But it's not your America. It's not your America? Wow, that's a bold statement. Great, dude. You can burn the flag, get aggressive. You can wear a mask and pretend you're progressive. I got... Uh, that's the other thing. This is another thing that pisses me off. I want you guys to understand. I have bad breathing, okay? Asthma, allergies, and shit. I will go out with a mask when it's a bad pollen day, and I still get looks. I'm not saying it's because of this shit, but this ain't helping, all right? All right, I just want to be able to wear a mask because of my bad allergies, and like still be seen as like a human being is that too much to ask for my first amendment don't forget i got the second it's not your amendment. oh my god <laughs> it, it's i can't dude dude it's i got my first amendment don't forget i got the second it's not your america this is it's Dude, I don't even know what to say anymore, dude. It's It blows my mind that people listen to this and, like, feel this shit without, like, feeling like they're terrible people. Like, this is quite literally a, like, basically saying, hey, listen, all right, I respect your opinion, but you got to respect mine as well, all right? Listen, I want to hear what you have to say, but just know that, like, my I got Second Amendment rights, all right, just keep that in mind. That is literally what that is, and it is. <laughs> it's lunacy. So weak, feel free to take a knee, and you can't even speak. God forbid you disagree. I don't even know what virtual signaling means. Hey, what's up? Hi. <laughs> Young men used to fight wars, now they make memes. The <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Look at this. What? I don't even know what virtue signaling means. Young men used to fight war, now they make memes. Please! I want that shit, like, plastered on my gravestone, dude. My, my, my pronouns are your slash mom. Yeah. 
That's basically what I'm listening to right now. Young men used to fight wars, now they make memes. Divide us up, I'm pretty sure that's the plan. Got a gun in my hand for when shit hits the fan. And how the fuck the woman of the year is a man? I'm pretty sure I never really... Is that four? Is that four? Because I can't tell anymore. I've, I've lost count. I just need to know the count. Like, that's all I care about. What's the count? Anyone who's just joining, I'm dripped out for today. United we stand. I got the, yeah, it's the wife beater, but it's, it's black. It's a very inclusive white beater, okay? White, white beater? Wife beater, no, <laughs> no. <laughs> Listen, okay? Hey, I respect all ethnicities, okay? I beat all women equally, hey. Mr. Officer, it's not what it sounds like. Yo, call my lawyer. I don't see color. Call Kid Rock. Let him know. Call my lawyer. That was close. Boomer thing. Anyways, I'm pretty sure we've hit $200 of Super Chats, so as promised, I will turn off private session. There you go, you guys. I'm a true patriot now. I uh, hope you're happy. We've been spreading lies, but you believe the truth is on the news every night. I I'm literally- I'm being gaslit, I swear to God. I am being gaslit. Holy shit, man. I couldn't click this button fast enough. Stop, stop, but I gotta stick your Okay. Now, I want you guys to understand before I talk about this song, I don't know a lot about politics. But, I do know about human communication. This <laughs> is a lot of bullshit. Oh, I don't, my brain hurts. Let's, let's just move on. I can't. I can't with this shit. I'm, I'm literally molding. I showered today and I lost so much hair. You have no idea how much hair I lost. Bro, let me guess. Let me guess. I, I know it's a wild assess assessment, but Chrome is going to be about this and how he has a right to own his Chrome and if you and if you doubt it, he's gonna aim his Chrome at your dome because he has Second Amendment rights. Or it could be about Google Chrome, of course. <laughs> These horns are very synthetic. I've been wild since my teenagers, high speed chases, smoking weed in parking lots of police stations. Fuck this, fuck them, fuck that, fuck you. I'm a problem with disturbing the peace. Swerving bottles and vodka, my Honda swerve through the streets. Bitch, I was bad to the bone. Drove a beater that you couldn't roll the windows up, but the rims were chrome. Flat road, just a bunch. No, I was wrong. Oh no. Ah, oh, god damn it. See, he did the old switcheroo. He did it. He tricked me. He did the song that has nothing to do with any of the other shit on this album, with being the brave, and instead did the pointless and completely empty flex song. I should have known. There's a feature on this song. Control, young kid, didn't have a car. Fuck who's control. Always sitting passenger. My buddy drove a Saturn. Roll up the weed, pass it. Now we all laughing. Soundtrack of my life. Old dirty bastard. Tupac. See, this is the other thing. This is like the most aggressive flow for possibly one of the least impressive and impactful verses of the entire album. Sick every Tuesday, new Rockefeller, I barely know him. Wow. This is what I mean. What is it? I ain't have no car. Fuck cruise control. What was the line he just said? Yeah, 
Yeah, I got the game locked like you can't get in. Like, these are the bars of this album. I got it locked like you can't get in. And I've been doing it even before Eminem, is he going to say? Yeah, I'd still be rapping even if there was no Eminem. That's a bold statement for sure. Why does it sound like he's like eating a bag of sunflower seeds in between rapping? Couldn't roll the windows up. I was too made up finger sticking out of slip not teeth. And if you met me, you either got robbed up by weed, the mall rat bum of cigarettes at entrance three. I had a pack of cigarettes and didn't give a fuck. This look is so ass, bro. The way it comes in after that is so bad. Especially with the slower verse, dude. No, she's not 15. She's saying at 15, she'd put a fist through a dude. All right. Bitch, I was bad to the bone. Trying to see. Verse was better than the others? Yes. But it doesn't fix anything. I'm telling you, it's, it's the thimble of punch in the piss bowl theorem. All right. I'm not drinking the bowl of piss to get to that little thimble of punch. That song was really bad. It had a terrible hook and a horrendous beat. Uh, does anything else really matter? Not really to me, so. It's the red headphones. Dog. I'm drinking the piss to drink the piss. Please chill, all right? This one is called Freedom of Speech. Hell yeah, brother. Fuck all you hoes. Detroit till I die, motherfucker. Welcome to America where everything is made in China. Where a girl can have a penis and the boys can have vaginas. What is that? Six? I think that's six. Welcome to the Democratic USA. You're homophobic and racist if you ain't black or gay. We're the stars. Ugh. The stripes, they go up in flames, but every classroom in the country has a rainbow flag. It's the land. That's seven. <laughs> They're burning down American flags, but the classrooms have gay pride flags. <laughs> no, it didn't rhyme at all, no. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, man. I love this song. Yeah, it's great, isn't it? Oh, yeah, no, of course it's the exact same song as Your America. Does he need to deviate? It works every time. People keep paying him for it, you know? He better not try that in a small town. I, I beg to differ. I very much think that a small town is the perfect place to try that. Welcome to the home of the woke. We're going broke. You'll get canceled for a joke by folks who voted for Joe. Where our freedom isn't free is being held for ransom. Where we'd all be locked away if people didn't have guns. Where our only information <laughs> is the propaganda. <laughs> we'd all be locked away if people didn't have guns. That's incredible. Please explain. Explain how people having guns prevents them from being locked away. Think of how many times you've been nearly arrested for the, for the crime of being white, though. Listen, I've never been arrested for being white. Just living in the skin of a white man is a, essentially a death sentence in this day and age. Okay? All right? I'm just saying, like, you're born with white skin. You're, you're basically, like, you're, you're, you're a corpse in, living amongst the rest of us. You ain't gonna shut me up. You can hate all you want. Hell yeah, brother. I used to be the home of the brave. I love my country. Fuck the government. I won't be a slave. You voted today, so what? They just threw your vote away. Trump won, but they stole it. Put a clone in his place. Jesus, why they keep... Excuse me? <laughs> Wait, what? He won? They put a clone in his place? Is that what he just said? Did he just say they put a clone in his place? I'm, I haven't heard this theory yet. Your mental diseases, please. Can a real woman not have a penis? A fe Is that nine? I, I think that's nine, right? It's alive till you keep it from breathing. Um, think about the words that we all used to say, but the men today act more pussy than the ladies. You can't hurt my feelings. I was born in the 80s. Shout out to the women, only they can have babies. Dudes with. Is that 10? Now I'm trying to call it normal. Why they use the women's restroom and not a urinal? Hold on, wait. Oh, why they use the women's Sorry, it's it's rapid fire, so we're at ten, I think. Can have babies, dudes wear dresses now and try to call it normal. Why they use the women's restroom and not a urinal? 
All right, I'm counting that as 11. Folks that they hear about these young kids' lives, fuck a pedophile school shooter, hope they all die. You ain't gonna shut me up. Uh -huh. You gonna have to kill me at point. I can't tell if that's 13. I think it's 13, too. I don't know. The whole gay people are fucking pedophiles or whatever. I'll, I'll just assume that's 13. Because I know that it's just another virtue signal. It, it feels very good to just be streaming and doing my thing and just have someone be like, Hey man, just popping by to say I like your videos and your content, you know? Keep it up. It, just, it feels good. I, I appreciate that. Thank you. Shut me up. You can hate all you want. I got freedom of speech. And you ain't gonna shut me up. Even if we disagree. Lost my train. Okay, so serious warning here. Sorry, uh, lost my transgender child to suicide, could not handle the hate, just like Tom wants. Yeah, you want to see the grim reality of how things actually are? There you go. That's, I mean, I will say that, like, and no, I'm not saying this, like, I'm not trans, I'm not transphobic. I have trans friends. No, I've seen very directly how they suffer. And they suffer, indeed, very heavily, more than most fucking people i've seen in my entire life and uh yeah that's that's the reality i've basically been witnessing in my life so you know it's it's definitely hard to take any of this shit seriously when you kind of what what can i say have uh, when, when you're not willing to shut down all your emotions to to oh what the I don't know. I can't spin. I can't spin this into a point. I don't want to. I'm just gonna leave it at that. Just tuned in. They're getting transphobic already. They got transphobic in the first minute, and there's been 13, I believe, 13 instances. I'd say 12 on the safe side of blatant and yes, very blatant transphobia. Like very direct. Has he made any listenable songs? That's a tough question to answer because I haven't enjoyed any of his songs. If you're saying things and I think you're lying, I will fight so you'll never be silenced. Even if you're He'll fight for you! That's yo, they're trying to destroy us, but Tom McDonald is going to save you. There's a there's a word for this. Oh whatever. Real, I'm usually just a uh I usually just pop in for a few minutes, uh, but Brad's streams genuinely make my day. Thank you. Yeah, I appreciate that. Even free speech for the morons too. You ain't gonna shut me up, up. Hey, at least he addressed that the morons are allowed to speak as well. Brad you, Brad, you make these albums listenable cause that's how cool you are. I'm not that cool, alright? I just got muscles and a cool ass United t-shirt, alright? Let's have a toast for the douchebags. What's wrong with Queens doing drag again? It's cause you're a man and you're not representing your masculinity. And as a result, you're a failed man. Like, you aren't hunting, you aren't gathering, you aren't uh, essentially going out in the wild and providing for your four kids uh, with your bare hands. That's not a real man. You don't have a gun to protect yourself from wild bears and wild liberals out in the wild. You're not a real man. Oh my god. <laughs> we are six songs out of 15. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. You ain't gonna shut me up. Uh, freedom of speech is a freedom of speech anthem that basically is titled freedom of speech is another form of virtue signaling uh, You guys know it already. I shouldn't be Surprising you with any of this information All right, what's the next song? It's called a uh, white devil it's called white devil Oh no, nah. it's either emotional or it's building up to be a Waka Flocka style banger, dude. You ain't never ever gonna be on my level. I'm in the system, but you call me white devil. I got homies in the trailer park that's smoking out of pop cans. They won't find your body if they hide it, even cops can't. They grew up as screw ups, they tune offs cause they ain't got that. Cigarette smoke on my tongue. I quit doing drugs and drinking. I was famous in a month. I was young. Bro, he just said that he never did drugs. Did he say that? I don't know, man. My brain is rotting. I don't remember anything anymore, dude. Just laugh when they mad and they call me. <laughs> you ain't never ever gonna be on my level. Fuck gon' pull me out if you tired cause you sleeping on me. Better grab a couch. Fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Oh, man. I'm telling you, man. When these filler bars show up, it's so funny. Because they just feel so, like... <laughs> uh, trans people, you are more valid than your uncle's Amazon password. What is your uncle's Amazon password, by the way? I've been trying to figure it out. Be on my level. You think that I'm privileged. I made it out the ghetto. Listen, if you recorded yourself just pissing and released that as a song, I'm sorry, but, like, I think that would definitely be worse than this. Like, this is bad, but trust me, I w if I had to listen to this for an hour or you pissing for an hour, I would choose this. Like, please. Like, actually. Like, we gotta... Like, actually. Started out from zero, now there's no competition. My vision got straight as an arrow. Pockets <laughs> straight as an arrow. Well, this should make editing easier as there is nothing here. So I'm happy to just let this one fly by. And, uh, yeah, if I skip over this entirely, just know you missed out on nothing. This is just another filler garbage track. White Devil, amazing. Probably the best song on this album oh. so far. It feels like nothing happened. Next song is called Rubber Boots, which he probably stomps the snakes with, I'm guessing. I'm willing to put that down. That's a bet. He stomps snakes with rubber boots. Who's gonna- No, wait, no, there's a feature on it. We don't know. Oh, these beats are so bad. Can't you see these rubber boots? Body out the mud and that's the truth. Everybody prayed that I would lose. Now it's me that they didn't use. <laughs> okay, so it is just another filler check. I was right on that. I was- I had the right instinct, okay? Speaking of, I want to show you guys. So I heard the record scratches. Look what I just got. You see this shit? My newest toy. <laughs> right? I just unboxed it to show you guys. Ah, oh, sick, right? So, I'm excited to use this thing. It's huge, though. <laughs> I gotta find a place to put it. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh my god, I can't wait to use this shit. I'll be right back. I gotta put it away. So, as a kid, I always wanted one of those. And then I was like, oh shit, I can afford it. I should probably put it in a safer spot. Uh, I'll be right back. Look at these potatoes. That's the garlic butter potatoes. And these are the wings. Feels like a somewhat American thing, I guess. Uh, should help me through these filler songs, I guess. Thing that they give up freedom of to a genius, grabbing my penis, swinging my balls, don't give a fuck, never at all. It's the truth. Everybody prayed that I would lose. I can't understand it like he's speaking Spanish. Hispanic, he got so stuck in mud, he gon' need mechanic. You just say like I'm speaking Spanish, Hispanic, but just like the word Hispanic out of nowhere was just like floating in that verse. I. Or was it supposed to be Hispanic mechanic? I don't know. It's your life on the table, man. Get it out of being selfish. Think about baby, better to tell it out of. If you ain't fresh at last, that's what Ricky Bobby said. Pull it pistol, let it blast. Then you left somebody dead. Now you scared, but on the street was a. What the fuck is this guy doing here? That seems like a straight up, just out the south, like. Fucking Memphis rapper. Wait, does this guy have like white gang ties or something? Three Six Mafia, Juicy J. Like, why is he here? Is he just like falling off that bad? What the fuck was that? Literal pioneer of trap? That's really weird. Like, really weird. And his wings are good. Alright, guys. Main event time. Gangster Rap Raised Us. Here we go. DJ Khaled! DJ Khaled! We're the best! We're the best! We know! All our heroes were the gangsters, homie. Gangster Rap Raised Us. 14 bumping Emmy Pot. Pouring out a 40 for the homies in the parking lot. G so... I remember Fantano talking about this with the uh, Macklemore album. Something I never even thought about. How basically the whole stereotype is like white people just listen and hear guns, drugs, violence, and whatnot out of rap. And that's like all they get out of it. Because they don't really understand the culture or the reasoning. 
Uh, I get that about tenfold here. Fell in love with rap before these rappers using auto tune and bada boom. Dropped out of school and copped the mic, hopped in the booth. Yo, what you got against auto tune, bro? What value do I get out of this? I can say I did it. But we gon' be alright Because gangster rap raised us What did you just say? I ain't got that thing on me But I got them hands though The vans pull up The mans jump out like Thought he Rambo. always had that he thing on him How can I be scared when I'm Thanos? Us. That's the same gunshot that's in the uh, beat for Ether. Uh, you know Ooh, Ether boy champagne. You know how I know that? Cause gangster rap raised me, homie. But it's cool when I say it, you know. <clears throat> Anyways, we're at a main event, so I gotta put away the chicken. When you want Eminem but get Skittles instead. Main event time, black and white featuring Dax. Uh, this song is a mess. <laughs> I've heard it already. Hop in the truck, ten of my buddies are already drunk. We don't go nowhere that doesn't have liquor and cigarettes. Ride a mechanical bolts in the club. King's hammer with mullets and cowboy hats out in public. Got ammo stashed in my cousins and cashing addicts and what is this? This is the big single right here, so you know he's got to rap fast. I be on some white people shit, hanging out the window of a truck, yelling, I don't give a fuck. Jumping out the plane, no parachute, so I'ma get the sooner. I ain't learned shit from school, always ditch Ferris Bueller, screw your little truck. You know, technically, if you're wearing a parachute, but you don't deploy it, you will potentially, and again, because you will reach terminal velocity at some point, but I feel like that terminal velocity would either be like a little bit like faster or you would accelerate a little bit faster with a parachute if you didn't deploy it i, I just feel like bringing the parachute with you will well unless of course it, it fucks with the aerodynamics of like diving down but then again it's like you're dealing with terminal velocity anyways i'm talking very specific physics here right because you're gonna accelerate at the same rate, right? No matter what. This ain't soccer, but watch him run, dude. This guy is undefeated right now. Okay, here we go, here we go. <clears throat> All right, here we go. So this is Dax's verse. Where he understands he's on a verse and a song with a bunch of white people that's going to be essentially aimed at a bunch of racist assholes. Now, I debate whether or not uh, what Dax is doing here is genius or straight pathetic. But I have a feeling that it's a mix of the two. Because essentially what he's doing here is... <laughs> oh man, it's... He's a... How do I say this? Let's just let it play out. Gator, but I'm still in the mix. I've been fucking with Timer before he got canceled for speaking the truth about the world and exposing it for what it actually is. I see race as an issue. I'm running it back to the government to tell them this is a democratic, liberated, conservative, patriarchy dipped in action, affirmative hit song. I'm gonna keep praying that you get exposed. <laughs> I promise. I'm gonna abide by rule that you set for me. I'm not that mad at the past. I mean, it was only a couple of centuries. Well, actually, I'm pissed, but won't let that be my identity. So on behalf of all blacks, I forgive and don't want to be enemies. Just so this is the big line right here. I'm not that mad at the past. It was only a couple of centuries. Well, actually, I'm pissed. But why would I want that to be my identity? So on behalf of all blacks, I forgive and don't want to be enemies. Oh, what? This is comedic. If you get offended, that's a reflection of your own comedic, life. You so on behalf of all blacks, I forgive and don't want to be enemies. Just like you're sorry and talk to me nice. This is comedic. If you get offended, that's a reflection of your own life. So black and white is uh, the song that ended racism. Uh... Allegedly. It might be hard to tell because Dax does a really poor job at selling it. Through a lot of vocal characteristics and essentially sounding very stilted the entire time. But this song is actually not about white and black people settling their differences between this song. In fact, the entire song is just everyone flexing. And Dax coming through essentially saying uh, that he fucks with Tommy and he does a bunch of trolling on this song. Um, essentially a ton of red herrings, if you will, to piss off people. And it is equally as cringe as if he said it uh, with his full chest. Now if you excuse me, I'm gonna go grab oh. some water. 
Say it to my face, whatever. It's another pointless posse cut. DJ Khaled! This is life, dog. You do it for the lights, dog. You do it for the clout. Your house can barely keep the lights on. You a fraud, you lying to fans. Not gonna lie, <clears throat> Tom McDonald here is talking exactly like how Ronnie Radke talks to me in Twitter DMs. I am not even shitting you. That is exactly what he says. He's like, I'm doing this in real life. You just doing this for Twitter because you're barely keeping the lights on. Listen, you can clearly see that I'm doing way better than just keeping the lights on. All right, this clout shit. First of all, that's literally what this is. It's creating dime a dozen shit music for pandering. What I'm trying to say here is, I'm playing pretty low in the mud with what I do, especially since I could be reacting to a real album right now. But you are at the exact same low level as me. We are on the same awful playing field. At least I can admit it. That's it. I'm rich and happy every day and you just lie on the ground. Artists, you the hardest when it comes to sucking dick. Your shit is garbage. You ain't got the stomach for it. Probably need to sip on... <clears throat> that was kind of fire. All right? That was a little fire. I ain't gonna lie. All right, sounds like some shit I would say. We going bowling. Is that Big L? Who the fuck is Big L? Guy sounds exactly like someone else. It kind of sounds like Big Crit, but like a little scuffed. I love this guy, this mad child guy, dude. Every time he shows up, it's like the circus is in town, dude. Holy shit. <laughs> like, dude, it's like, uh, it's, uh, you guys know that South Park episode where there's like, um, the, the guy who's, uh, who's short, who does like the assembly and Cartman just every time he sees him just starts laughing at him till he breaks. That's literally how I feel about Mad Child. That's me. Whenever Mad Child shows up, I go into uncontrollable laughter, 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 and I'm unable to listen to a single word he says. Because it is just all drowned out by his ridiculous voice. Child, I got mental problems. I've already lost my marbles. Lay a face to face, see demons dancing in my eyeballs. I'm liable to do something. Words, are like, yeah. Words are like bullets. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and I'm mentally tortured. Go for it. Hit with a bumping hammer, then go. I'll take by never like South Park. Tina doesn't like South Park either. Uh, e uh, beaver. See, Tina doesn't like South Park beaver. Um, but the reason she doesn't like it is because a lot of the people she had to deal with in, like, school liked South Park, and they were, like, extremely annoying. And I was the exact same way. My first exposure to South Park was people joking about, uh, eating up their ass and shitting out their mouth. And I was like, wow, this sounds like the stupidest thing I've ever heard. This sounds like something that only idiots watch. And then I watched the show. And I watched the show... All 20-something seasons, like, three times in total. And I could say confidently, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. I like it. I think out of a lot of the adult television shows, it's one of the uh, the better ones. It, it's one of the more entertaining, uh, one of the more rewatchable. Just, it's it's good. It's good content. It's uh, it's well-written, I will say. So, yeah. Almost, almost as good as Family Guy. Yeah, no. Not not a Family Guy fan. That being said, though, I do think that South Park has probably caused more damage to the youth than, uh, <laughs> than, like, you know, a lot of other things combined. But also, at the same time, it's like, motherfucker, watch your kids, you know what I mean? Like, I hate to be that guy, but, like, literally, like, as a kid, there would be, like, what, like, kindergartners who've played, like, Call of Duty and shit, and I'd be like, bro, like, do you... Like, do you not realize that it just, it doesn't make sense to me, bro. A six-year-old should not be playing Call of Duty. I'm sorry, but like. I'm the loudest one in the room. I'm the quiet guy in the corner. Oh, dude, when I learned that uh, the guy from Primus did the South Park theme song, bro. Oh, no, it was. It was just Primus. Primus did the theme song for South Park, bro. That shit. I learned that recently. 
Because I had a Primus phase, and then I discovered that. I was like, whoa. That blew my mind. Yeah, yeah. No, literally. I'm going down south, I'm gonna have myself a time. Going down south, I'm gonna... Like, once you recognize it's, it's Claypool, his voice, you can't unsee it. And I heard the story, too. They reached out to Primus to get it as well, because they were a fan of the band, so... Yeah. Dog. Dude, Tom McDonald raps without mentioning Eminem challenge. Literally impossible on his own album. Uh, <clears throat> right headphones. Dog. That was boring. Next song, Fame. It's a song about fame, probably. When I die, bury me in all my chains. Stop pavement, you idiots. What a shame, fuck fame. Shit different. I gotta drive like a car. No. It's like a very. It's like a thing. Is it over? Oh, well, <clears throat> we're back to the songs that matter, so we'll get to that. Ugh. Anyways, that sucks. Uh, that was a song that existed. Red headphones. All right, oh, finally, the song I care about. This is my way featuring social repost. That's right, that social repost probably was like, yo, you guys are speaking the truth. I was canceled back in the day. I did nothing wrong. All right, let's make a song together. And so they did. This is called My Way. Frank Sinatra cover. I will never let them tell me how to raise my kids They ain't never ever gonna change the way I live Ball team, I was way too distracted with trying to chase my dreams Yeah, Stay no Alright, street, street city, town, to urban, house Nobody could tell me Downtown is two you Neighborhood go see me from the Good job, whoever guessed that way. I don't care if it kills me and talk if the whole world is the day I'm Alright, I'm not gonna look at chat though. My way, my way. Tuber, I'm a tuber. That's what's up, motherfucker! Redactyl. <laughs> what the fuck is this? It's a Wikipedia article, but like all the words are gone. That was the answer? It was bus? Everybody knows The answer was bus the whole fucking time? Final song is called Race War. It's okay to be racist as long as you hate my Boss! <laughs> Pause! Okay, listen. <laughs> no good sentence has ever started with that. As long as you hate non Caucasians, teaching white kids that their shades the same as school shooters and rapists. Maybe I'm tripping because the white children have been getting taught that they got white privilege by the white guys and the high heels who identify as the white women. I'm not proud to be white children are taught they have white privilege because they're taught by white men in high heels who claim to be white women all right and that was race war this album's a zero all right let's get back to what matters Everybody knows this right here. 